Hey everyone, we're continuing our recitation reading of the Book of Mormon. We are in 3 Nephi, chapter 20. We're doing part 2 of it, and that's picking up on verse 32, alright? Let's continue. Then shall their watchmen lift up their voice, and with the voice together shall they sing, for they shall see eye to eye. Then will the Father gather them together again, and give unto them Jerusalem, for the land of their inheritance. Then shall they break forth into joy, sing together, ye waste places of Jerusalem. For the Father hath comforted his people, he hath redeemed Jerusalem. The Father hath made bare his holy arm in the eyes of all the nations. And all the ends of the earth shall see the salvation of the Father, and the Father and I are one. Okay, that would be a citation, theological difference there. And then shall be brought to pass that which is written, Awake, awake again, and put on thy strength, O Zion, put on thy beautiful garments, O Jerusalem. The holy city, for henceforth there shall no more come to thee the uncircumcised and the unclean. Shake thyself from the dust, arise, sit down, O Jerusalem. Lose thyself from the bands of thy neck, O captive daughters of Zion. For thus saith the Lord, ye have sold yourselves for naught, and ye shall be redeemed without money. Verily, verily, I say unto you that my people shall know my name. Yea, in that day they shall know that I am he that doth speak. And then shall they say, How, are beautif how beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him that bringeth good tidings upon them, that publisheth peace, that bringeth good tidings unto them of good, that publisheth salvation, that saith unto Zion, Thy God reigneth. And then shall a cry go forth, Depart ye, depart ye. Go ye out from thence, touch not that which is unclean. Go ye out of the midst of her, be ye clean that bear the vessels of the Lord. For ye shall not go out with haste, nor go by flight, for the Lord will go before you. And the God of Israel shall be your rearward. Behold, my servant shall deal prudently, he shall be exalted and extolled and be very high. As many were astonished at thee, his visage was so marred, more than any man, and his form more than the sons of men. So shall he sprinkle many nations, the kings shall shut their mouths at him. For that which had not been told them shall they see, and that which they had not heard shall they consider. Verily, verily, I say unto you, all these things shall surely come, even as the Father hath commanded me. Then shall this covenant which the Father hath covenanted with his people be fulfilled, and then shall Jerusalem be inhabited again with my people, and it shall be the land of their inheritance. That's the end of chapter 20.